Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Just uh, give me a second while we get the Discord pinged and put a link out on Twitter as well. And then we'll have a little bit of hello people, shall we? It's been a long time since I've been live in Alice. Okay. Who do we have? Uh, Michael, welcome in, mate. Hello, people, to you, Jennifer, and Brad, Tim, uh, Lem. What a nice city. Thank you, Lem. Appreciate that, mate. Star stuff, Mr. Whale, Renee. Hello, everyone. How are we all? Live a little bit earlier, only 15 minutes earlier, but we're here. We're here. Hey, Molly, Michael, Andre. <laughs> welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. This is your first stream. Welcome in, Lem. It's nice to have you here. Always nice to have a stream virgin in. Hey, Tani. Welcome, everyone. Yeah, so if you guys haven't seen, I made the first official um, tutorial video for plazas and promenades. It's up on the official Cities channel. That was like mega exciting to do that. <laughs> so thank you for all the support. That wouldn't have been possible without you guys you know, liking and commenting and getting my channel to a point where I get asked to do sort of tutorials for Paradox. Amazing. Uh, there is three more of them coming as well. Uh, I think it's every two days they release. The next one's on Monday. Yes, but welcome in. Hey, Pony. Etzel, Stephen, Sargon, Adam, welcome everyone. Yes, yeah, so welcome back to Ilos, everyone. Welcome back to Ilos. Let's have a little chat about what's going to happen today. Let's go ahead and saw our play it and render it settings. There we go, make it a nice bright sunny day. Uh, so there's some significant spots of space that have opened up in and around the mile grid that need to be addressed. So I think today we're going to have a little focus on these two areas over here and see what we can do with them. Uh, probably head over to Google Earth, actually, because I want to see if we can do some sort of stereo, not stereotypical, but typical uh, Phoenix kind of basketball, uh, not basketball, uh, baseball sort of things, okay? Uh, is, uh, hold on. Is the, is the stream quality okay, guys? YouTube's giving me a little bit of grief. Just give me a hot second here. Yeah, is the stream quality okay for you guys? Is it okay? I think it should be. We seem to be alright. Okay, yes, but welcome in. So, let's forest brush this space first. And then, we'll tidy this up. Quality's good to me. Okay, yeah, YouTube's just giving me, um... Warnings, but if everyone's okay, then we should be alright to carry on, I think. Cool. Right, so let's just briefly open Google Earth. And then we're going to have a little fly over to Phoenix, of course, because I want to see... We've seen them before. It's kind of those really heavily repeated uh, baseball field patterns. Uh, we haven't really done one yet in this city, so I think this should be an ideal space for one. So basically like a park build, won't it? Right. Okay. Looks fine to me. Very good quality stream is fine. Good, 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 good. I don't know what YouTube is talking about then. Uh, okay, so Glendale Phoenix. We're going to have to scout one out here. This should be pretty obvious to see. Yes, there we go. There's one of them. Yeah, so this kind of pattern of four baseball fields. Looks like this is actually tethered onto an elementary school as well, doesn't it? There is definitely more of these around Phoenix, so we won't just take one and then be done with it. We'll see if we can find a few more. Welcome in, everyone. Hey, Lands, Fee Candy. Welcome in, guys. Harry as well. Hello, can't wait for the new DLC. Yes, is everyone excited for it? Yeah, do let me know what you're expecting from the new DLC. I hope everyone's looking forward to it. I'm pretty sure I'm I'm not allowed to say <laughs> what what I think of it until a certain date, but you guys are free to discuss it. Uh I did want to have a look at this as well. Royal Palm Park is a nice bit of green space that we can bring into Ilos. I definitely remember there being more of these baseball parks. Maybe I'm only seeing the one. Or maybe it wasn't in Phoenix. Maybe we went over to Tucson, maybe. But that's okay. We should be okay. Yeah, well, let's just go for this one then. Okay, so we've got some car parking. Some little office space buildings by the looks of it as well. 
I don't really want to focus on these. This is really awkward sort of stuff. And this is like an actual stadium, isn't it? American Family Fields of Phoenix. Okay, that's like recessed into the ground as well. That's really cool. Yeah, general office space and condos, and then we flow into a school campus, which has there's even two small little baseball, uh, basketball field. I don't be a baseball. Getting my sports confused <laughs> today. Okay, yeah, let's just go for this then. Let's go ahead and jump back into Ilos. Cool. Let's go for three baseball fields and see if we can finagle an egg shape. It'd be ideal, wouldn't it, Lens? Haven't even bought the airport yet, Arian. Yeah, you'll, you'll get around to it. Airports is a good one. I like the airports DLC. Okay, so let's go into some parks. And then we'll find our baseball field. Which is here. Okay, so we'll not worry about the connections just yet. So I'll see what was that side of the connection on. Okay, so the sleeper is where the actual asset connects, this one here. Not the sleeper, bleacher even is the word I'm looking for. Okay, so with that in mind, we're going to have to give them a road connection. Probably part life paths as roads is going to be the most appropriate here. Could be pedestrian roads soon, couldn't it? That actually would work nicely for this sort of build. A little sort of pedestrianised park where you can place all your main park assets. It's going to be very good. Okay, so let's we'll draw out a general shape. I guess actually we should draw it out from the road connection here. Let's do that. Turn Anarchy on as well. This one can come down. Uh, this might actually be too far south. Let's move this up a little bit, just a touch further away from the highway. Let's get rid of this processing pond as well. Was I losing my mind or did I see an elevated area plaza in the city's trailer? Uh, an elevated area plaza. I'm not sure what you mean, Michael. Elevated area or plaza. Um... Yeah, you can sort of get a good look at some of the new assets. Give us a hint about new things going to be in DLC. I can't, dude. I'm under a non-disclosure agreement. I can't talk about it until a certain date. Yeah, you can just have a look at the trailer. Or the tutorial. See what you think. Okay. So, let's go back into Google Earth. So, all of the... I guess what you would call pitching spaces. They're kind of focused into the middle here. So, let's sort of orientate everyone. To this sort of angle. Right, and then tidy up any spillage onto the pathways. Service painter is going to be needed here as well to get rid of the grass sprites. Hey, I just got home and you started streaming. What a nice gift. Welcome in, Tom. Hope you've had a good day, buddy. Welcome to the stream, mate. So just service paint the sprites away. It does happen with some of the assets, unfortunately. Probably bring this texture right up to the uh, path, actually. It's gravel. I don't really want concrete in it. Get rid of all this. Yeah, I hope the stream quality is okay, guys. YouTube is giving me warnings that the quality isn't good enough, but if he's all okay with it, then we should be okay, I think. Okay. Does this give us the... um? Impression from the bird's eye view. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Quite happy with that. Yes, please. Okay. So, we'll get that one in. Uh, then, let's go ahead and decide on some sort of entrance. We'll obviously have some car parking here, too. And in the continued effort of saving nodes, we are back to parking lot roads. After a little dabble in um, big parking lots last episode. Okay, so we want to bring the service road just about there. That should be all right. Nagle it away a little bit. There we go. Cool. And then for the parking lot, let's just have a look what they're like on Google Earth. They're pretty rigid and straight and kind of run down looking actually. So I imagine some 40 meter poorly maintained is going to be 
an aesthetic that people enjoy. Yeah, I think we can get this. We probably need to rework this little rock garden here as well, actually. It's a little bit out of place now. It doesn't really fit with the theme. I'm happy to have an exit for the cycle highway here, but it's going to want to be reworked a little bit. Okay, so let's grab those roads. We can probably do the little node control trick here, actually. And if we... I'm not by that much. Is this going to be too much car parking? There's an industrial area here as well. I guess it'll get used. Cool. And then we'll grab the poorly maintained service road too. Let's make sure that we use this. And then we'll get those parking uh, park life paths as roads in too. Splendid. Cool. Can't wait to get back home. It's been a rough morning already, but the stream is helping calm me down. That's good. That's what we're here for, Tim. What are you doing, Marbly? Okay. So a little bit of no controller. Uh, we'll change these to a bend and then sharpen the offset so we get the square car parks. And how are we going to round you out on this side? I guess we could wrap it with car park on either side. That would be quite nice. Don't see why not. Block car parking in Phoenix, so yeah, let's go for it. And um, we will continue. Actually, would it be nice to do symmetry here? I think it would, wouldn't it? We go for... What's that from there to the end? Eight units. Hey Lauren, welcome to the stream. Welcome in. Uh, you could have a stadium near the patch of sand. That would make sense as well, a facility. Yeah, it's not a bad shout actually, Harry, to use the Varsity Sports Stadium here. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, so let's actually redo this length here as well then if we're going to start respecting symmetry. So we've got a 16 unit car park coming out which should be here. And then we can bring that one up. Bring that one up. We've got the rail line here. So yeah, we'll do some industrial fencing here. And this should actually be car park as well, shouldn't it? Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. I think I'm happy with that. Give us some bends again. Sharpen the offset so everyone squares off. Wonderful. All this node fencing, just no shits given back in the day, everyone, about nodes. <laughs> just these little little fence gardens all over the place. Absolute nightmare. And um, with the new IMT functionality, actually, I think we are going to bring in a little bit of decorative network fencing to mark out this baseball field complex facility, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so let's get these up. We'll go for decorative networks. Should we go for... No, I've never even considered using the parking lot road. Um, or big parking lot curbs, actually, as decorative networks against the road. How does that look? Can we see? Does it look shocking? I'm guessing it will do. It was not going to look great, is it? Yeah, you can't even see it. Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay, so how about a little bit of zoo fence? I feel like we don't use much zoo fence in Ilos, do we? Yeah. Where are flying baseballs in those car parks? Didn't we have another flying issue? It was in, um... It was over here, wasn't it? Yes, the, um, the coconut car park. People parking under the coconut trees. Yeah, there is a few hazards <laughs> in Isla's with hard flying objects. There certainly is. Right, let's uh, go ahead and put this across whole street. That didn't work. Are you okay? Do we need to do that again? Uh, let's do decorative network. Zoo fence. So it's a slightly off the curb. And then we'll do uh, apply to whole street here. There we go. That's what we like. Oh, it's going down there though. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's all right. That's that's okay. Wonderful. Let's get some car parking in so it actually starts to function. That will, of course, make room for our disabled friends up at the front. Go for a little repeated pattern of Disable parking near the fields. 
then we can come in with some larger spaces too. And get these on. OG Nickel with a five pound super chat. Hello, people. Can't stay, but we'll catch up later. Have a great stream. PS, well done this early city tutorial. Thank you so much, G. Really appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, thanks for super chat, mate. And yes, it was a very cool thing <laughs> to be able to uh, make the city's tutorials. That was insane. Thank you so much, mate. And the bad wolf with those two Australian dollar super chat. Thank you so much, wolf. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat, guys. Where is my accent from? Um, it's Northern English, mate. Yes, Northern English is where my accent is. Uh, okay, yes, do some patterns this side as well. And then switch down the size here. Super. Sorry I'm late, what have I missed? Uh, this is it, bad wolf really. Yeah, just baseball configurations with car parking around. That's all we've done so far. Yes. Uh, don't forget the Darwin and Alfred schools of danger. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, the third grade beekeeping class. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, third grade beekeeping. That was hilarious. Yeah, let's not forget about those either. That's uh, some of my favourite Ilo slow, isn't it? Here we go. And then let's get some more spaces in there as well. Okay, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these corners, actually. We probably actually need to remove one of these buildings and shorten them off a little bit. Let's go for a slightly smaller car park size. Let's go for... Oh, that's not in sync. They need to go. They haven't been lined up properly. Make sure they're lined up with the bottom. And then can we come off snapping here? We can, but it won't align, but I'm happy with that. That's okay. And then we can probably come back to some large... Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's do larger ones over this side. Oh, Lord Eggsy has been a member for 10 months. Holy crap, Eggsy. That's insane, mate. 10 months. Thank you so much, dude. Another month, another free wasted, <laughs> another free wasted super chat. Glad to see cities have got you on board. You probably deserve it. Thank you so much, E6. Really appreciate it. It's kind words, mate. Let's remove this one here too. There we go. Yes, I will. Um, I'll host the cities tutorial thing at the end of the stream. If you haven't seen it. I think the next one's up on Monday. Is it? Don't mind asking you guys. <laughs> I, I should know. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Monday the next one's open. Cool. Let's go ahead and sensibly line up some of these frames on this side. There we go. And then we'll get some in here as well. Yes, that's better, I think. I guess I could fill out the middle sections if I wanted to. That looked weird. I don't think it would. Uh, yes, it does actually. I'm just going to keep them open. I could put some planters in there actually if we wanted to. A little bit of flower. Should we have a play with that idea? I feel like I don't just want to leave it open. We'll find out anyway. You got 116 of you here as well, guys. Thank you for joining the stream, everyone. Oh, Brad Stanton with the 299 Australian Doll Super Chat as well. Thank you so much, Brad. I love you, buddy. Thanks for Super Chat, mate. Little love heart. Hope you're doing well, Brad. Nice to see you around, mate. Let's go for planter. Let's do large. Yeah, okay. We'll do a large planter. You will then search for little bush. Now, I'm pretty sure I've got a bush that I stole from Oridon's asset list when we did the collab. I think it's this one. Yeah, the bush shrub, so it's a bit big for this planter, though. Maybe not that one. Maybe a couple of these little purple numbers. 
and then follow up with Lord California Faithful. Needs to turn that bush trend down too. Uh, I do like the pedestrian rivers new expansion for its mixing mechanic from the base game. Yes. Yes, they're they're really fun to play with. Like the possibilities that are available now is just oh so good. <laughs> so good. Yes, very much looking forward to playing with it. Yeah, and the space is where we would normally have car parks. Why don't we see if we can do Oh, do they almost drive around that as well? He just drove like right past it. I think I'm happy to have those in. Is that space dark at night time? Do we maybe want a light in there as well? I think it'd possibly be welcome, couldn't it? Let's find a light. Let's go for... I usually enjoy these cute little parking lot lights as well. Yeah. You can make it smaller. Oh yes, Trianarchy. Yes, if you see. Yes, yes, you can. Absolutely. I forgot Trianarchy was a thing. Yes. Yeah, so we can use more than or less than, can't we? Oh, amazing. Yes, we'll do that instead. Thank you, if you see. So I'm just delete my trees. Or we'll delete everything. <laughs> because apparently the borders tool does not differentiate anymore. Right, let's try that again. Yes, excellent idea if you see. Yeah, so uh, more than or less than on your keyboard will increase the size. That is a tree anarchy feature, I believe, though. We might head over and have a look at Imperator's build as well today, guys, if you want to have a look at it. I imagine, well, none of us don't really get the opportunity to go and pick apart an Imperator's build, do we? So we'll head over there later on. Let's get our light in there, too. Um, it's a parking lot light, isn't it? Well, that one's quite cute, though, isn't it? Should we go for that one? Can we turn, like, prop anarchy on and get it, like, right in the trunk of the tree? Almost like it's a disc that's been attached to the tree. Or does that look naff? It does look a little bit naff, doesn't it? But we'll see how we feel about it once it's in place. Does that just look crap from the high street? Or are we okay there? It's nice being around this side of the Margaret. This is the really, like, industrial side of it. We've not been here for ages. Yes, please. Amazing. So without spoiling anything, let's go 1 to 10, how source new assets. I don't think I can say EMB. I'm under an NDA, mate. Yeah, I'm allowed to just say what you've seen in the trailer and comment on the trailer, but as to specifics or my thoughts or any sort of review of the expansion, I'm not allowed. Not yet, anyway. Eventually we will be. And yes, we'll bring this in, and then if we have these parking lot frames hang around, that gives us the opportunity for some uh, perhaps cafe detail in here. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell's happened to this one? Are you okay, baseball field? There we go. Cool. Uh, okay, so train line is also next as well. I probably should finish off my parking lot pattern though. Let's not be lazy. Welcome to the stream, Karina. How are you? How are you doing? It's nice to see you in. Um, great job the best news video, I wasn't sure if I get it, but it looks great. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Russ? It looks really good. Uh, yeah, we'll do one three by two, and then that's going to take it farther from where I need it to be, so that's okay. Bring that pattern in here. And then we used a 4x1 over this side, didn't we? Yes, we did. And then just give that enough space for that car to pull out. And that should make everyone mostly happy. Let's turn off snapping as well. Cool. Alright. Let's have a 
hydration brakes well, but it's very warm today. We're going to have to make sure we keep on top of the hydration brakes. We'll have a little chat as well. Um, bollards. Yes, the bollards are amazing, aren't they? <laughs> How cool are the bollards? Yeah, I was a huge fan of those when I saw them. Mm. Yeah, bollards are amazing. Hi uh, everyone, first time catching a stream, love your content, I'm playing the game uh, vicariously through you and for you candy as I'm deployed to Japan at the minute and can't get to a computer. Well, welcome in Daniel, it's nice to have you in for the stream mate. Hope all is going well in Japan. Think of all the places you can't get access to a PC, Japan would be one of the last places you'd think of, right? But welcome in Daniel, it's nice to have you here mate. I have to cut the grass, enjoy Harry. Is that in Anno or real life? Not sure. Never know with Harry. Um, have you got some container props or things or sort of shower rooms for the fields? Uh, yeah, we've got container props. Would you have a shower room in a container? Is that something you'd see? I've never been to a baseball field before, so I've no idea. Yeah. City park restrooms would work. Yes. Yeah. Definitely some city park restrooms would be a good shout. Or thunder boxes, I should be saying, rather. Uh, yeah, let's go for a restroom. I think they're quite tasteful, aren't they? Just at the front of the complex like that. Yeah. Let's have a look around Google Earth. There is what looks to be, hold on, let me, let me pull you guys back into Earth for a second. Oh, Jennifer Cox has been a member for seven months, so how to be back in Isla's live today, looking so as always. Thank you so much, Jen. Yes, I know you've missed Stylos Lives. <laughs> We're back now, though. Thanks so much for the support, Jen. Really appreciate it. Um, so we can't get a street view here, but in sort of... In the internals of the complex, it looks as though there was a little building. No idea what that would be. Maybe where they stole the baseballs themselves. Bats, etc. And then, you know, the whole thing is... Can we get a view from it from this road? No. Why is there no street view in this part of Phoenix? Probably because it's not a road, is it? That's why. Can we get in on the car park? No, we can get in here, though. I just want to get a general idea of how tall things are around here. Oh, there's that guy. Um, Maryvale Baseball Park. I've heard of the Maryvale suburb before. Isn't Maryvale one of the less desirable places to live in Phoenix? I'm pretty sure I've been told that before. Okay, it's just sort of general stadia vibe, isn't it? Some benches and planter tree detailing out here as well, near the car parks. You can get this in. Yeah, but otherwise there's no street view nearby to what we're actually building. But yeah, it does look like we're fenced off. You can see the shadow of the fence in the satellite view against the canal when it moves into suburb. In our case that canal is highway, but it's same difference, right? Cool. Yes, when I played baseball here in my city, we had some sort of container uh, rebuild as a shower. Interesting, Tom. I mean, yeah, I guess we could do. What are you talking about? Like an actual shipping container? Like what you would see on a freight ship, for example. Okay, let's get some chain link fencing in. Let's go for linear fence, Phil. Always a favourite. How many people are walking back here? Over to the food factory. I guess they're going to the suburb, aren't they? Cool. That should do us a job. Let's turn Anarchy on too. And then we'll have this run basically the width of the car parks. To about there. And then we can bring this up. The bridge. Looks like a control tower and a small airport. It does, Peter. That's so you're right, yeah. It does look like a little control tower, doesn't it? Um, I think we can certainly give a little building, though. What do we have? The RCI is split pretty evenly at the minute, so... Office space is probably more appropriate, isn't it? I think. Well, then again, maybe just the small, cute little office is all it needs. I 
guess it's sort of similar. I mean, the one in Phoenix always was a slightly taller. There's also a lot more green around here as well. We definitely need to factor that in. I'm um, just noticing that now looking at back at Google Earth. So let's go ahead with our grass painter. Just generally greenify this area enough for us to work with a little bit of green today. Not too much of it though. Just sort of filter it away off the edges there if we can. Yeah, a little bit like that. And then because we are on the north, east, south, west divide with the mile grid. We should actually be able to quite tastefully carve off some of this surface painter. I guess we could surface paint off the corners with little concrete areas. And then just let the rest of it be grass. Would that be the worst thing in the world? Possible planter and bench details we had in these spaces as well if we want to. Okay, and then if we were to remove this surface paint here, how do we feel about the little grass verge between the uh, field and the pathway? I think I'm a much bigger fan of that. It's not as much brown, is it? With all that gravel there. So I think we'll go for it. Let's turn that brush size up a little bit too. Yep, just trim that back to the pathway. Funded. That's not too bad looking, is it? Cool. I'm so glad someone mentioned the bench, dude. Did that saga mention bench? Hey, bench, <laughs> hey, bench, dude. Yeah, do should we call it bench, dude? Park. I'm happy to do that. That one guy in Phoenix <laughs> has just been like immortalized in Ilos. Imagine if he's watching. Maybe. I actually wonder. Could I keep this? Oh no, it's not quite right, is it? Yeah, it, it borders out too much. I could do it with the pathway, but it's a node I don't need to use. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that tasteful service painter then. We'll keep that going. Try and keep it somewhat uniform anyway. Yeah, that's about right, isn't it? Or we need to come up to the... What are they called? Is it... A, 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 I don't know baseball. Is it like a pitch? Diamond? Is it something to do with diamonds in baseball, isn't there? A pitcher's area? A pitcher's diamond? Is that what it's called? It's probably not. Q, the baseball gang. Come in for me in the comments post-stream. Okay. Yeah, right, let's call it Bench Dude Baseball. Yeah, let's give it a district name. We'll stick nicely in with a network snap, so... E6 has a nice Saturday. Yeah, thank you, Sargon. <laughs> That's good. I like that one. We'll, we'll go with that. Uh, beat square. Bench dude. Next ball. Facility. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the Varsity Sports building in, because that's going to be quite a key aesthetic for the build as well today. So we'll just throw it down here for right now. It's obviously not final positioning and it certainly needs uh, Bob paying a visit to it as well. I think Palm's the most obvious, Sally. God, not the vanilla ones, Christ. Uh, the tall palm, is that too much palm? It's a possibility. What's happening with the car parking as well? That's really weird. Okay. It definitely would be cool to have the main baseball arena centered on this path, wouldn't it? It's also going to fit really cutely in the foreground of the skyline as well from here. Yes, please, everyone. It's a diamond, a pitcher's mound. So, <laughs> right, okay, so it's a mound and then a diamond, not a pitcher's diamond. Right, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, hey Lauren, welcome to the stream. I said hello. Yeah. Hey Miner, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. Pictures plate it could be Rachel. It could be. Why is there a cutting board on my screen? No idea, Arnie. <laughs> no idea. Crust egg. It's crust. What are you talking about, Jen? 
crust. I don't know what you mean. Are you talking about the baseball thing? Oh, I didn't move my planter over here either, did I? Oops. Let's do that now. Let's throw that on the corner. Oh, that's spilling over again there. Does that need re anarchying? I think it does, doesn't it? That's the adjective. Oh, uh, where is it? This one? Yes, it is. I think. Yes, amazing. Uh, place it down. There we go. Okay, so let's just, again, briefly return to the wonderful world of Google Earth to see how um, that main baseball facility sits within the complex itself. Okay, yeah, so this is, can we get a street view here just to get a sense of scale, if you will, just to see how we're sat against major road networks. Lots of dry belt around here, isn't there? These cute little dry bush patterns. Look at that. And all of a sudden, it's not dry. <laughs> Everything's very green and lush, just a, a couple of feet, feet down the street. Okay. So, yeah, the baseball stadium it just sits against the road. There's car parking, which we've already got plenty of. And then I guess we could finagle some of those office spaces to help generate sort of this building mass here, if you like. Yeah, some office spaces should do this job quite nicely. So that's a few bins out back there or some sort of industrial service detailing. We could make these shapes here with um, big parking lots, but that's a lot of nodes to get all those curbs to look like that. That would look really nice though. Oh no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> There's so, that is so many nodes to make that look good. We've got 124 over here as well, guys. Thank you so much for turning up. Really appreciate you all. Okay, is that field in Phoenix lowered? Yes, it is. It's like very slightly recessed into the ground. You can, of course, do that in cities, but it would. It takes the entire shape of the asset rather than just the pitch, and I'm not sure I'm on board with that. Yeah. I'm not going to do that one. Okay, so with this in mind, let's move this slightly further back. And we should actually get some nice positioning here. So is that too far away now from that central rundown? I think it possibly is, isn't it? Let's go ahead and bring it about there. Wonderful. Let's come ahead and grab a road. Probably just that wide American plane one will do as a job. Bring it up here. Okay, let's remove the traffic light from here as well. And then we'll also do some node love on this side. Uh, not on the red friend though. And then likewise in here again as well. Let's stretch out these nodes in the middle and then just amend a little office building, which is actually incorrectly service paired. There we go. Gotta go, we're back later, no worries, E6. Have a good day, matey. Okay. So in terms of where I want to finagle the office spacing onto the side of it, that's gonna be an interesting choice. Where do we want it as part of the city? I guess against the highway would be nice. Yeah. See that as well, Governor. Bye. Maybe 45 degree diagonal with the highway. Could angle it against the highway, yeah. Let's have a look at it. The difficult beast to use this one, the varsity sports um, basketball field, baseball, sorry. 
Yeah, maybe if we angle it that side, it see like look how far it pushes the terrain out, even though the asset's like right there. It's so annoying. I hate it when it does that. It's a pain in the ass in vanilla as well. Yeah, I'm more receptive of that angle, actually. That's a good shout, Harry. Come in. How much longer do you think Isles will last? At least until the end of the year, James. Yeah. There's a lot of life left in Isles, yet. Yeah. Like vast amounts of life. Okay. Let's start piecing together some shapes using the West Coast office stuff. Uh, we'll go for just custom things. See, it's not too tall, so... Don't really want to come into these numbers, that's too big. That one's okay. Yeah, chisel at that side. And then... Let me get one that's maybe set slightly further back. No, let's move. Let's switch these two around because that'll give us a nice little differentiation in the height. Then we'll of course change them all to the same color. Okay, not bad. It's not bad there, is it? That better be noobs guy too. And um, what for the? The baseball field. I think we're going to do the American Football Stadium in Noob's Guide. But yeah, like once we get 25 tiles in it, there's definitely more room for stadium builds in Noob's Guide, for sure. Okay, so now it's going to be quite a crude process of just fusing this asset onto the side of the stadium without it clipping any major infrastructure on the stadium itself. So this could be an awkward fit, but we'll see what we can do. Choose a little bit of finer move it controls here. Just line ourselves up. Something along those lines. It doesn't look as though it's majorly out of place. But of course it wants some car parking outside of it to help service it. Hmm. Gem breathes a sigh of relief. Oh, what about Ilos not ending? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, it's, it's huge, guys. Like, this is a big project. Like, we have more Margaret frames to fill in the west. There's also the entire Lake Havasu area, which hasn't even started being built yet. Um, then those are the major projects, then there's stuff down here to do, um, but this certainly isn't finished over this side. Uh, there's piecing together to do from Imperator's build over to my areas. So yeah, there's um, there's lots of projects left in Ilos. Plus all the rural builds outside of the main area. Yeah, it's a long way from done yet, a long way. Okay. I'm getting further on board with this. So I'm going to get those uh, car parks in outside the office space, and I think that's going to help me uh, be a little more friendlier towards this build. Yeah, let's come off all of our snap in here. We'll do this manually. Yep, just line up out front. This will give them a connection. I think I'm going to remove that last office building. I think we are. And then we'll come on to angle and road length, and we'll do three units. Either side, and then just a small, cute run down, poorly maintained car park. Should do as a job. We'll also come back in. I think it's the fact that it's such a blunt transition from initial build over to like dense highway infrastructure that makes this one quite hard to settle in at first, but I think we will get there. Yeah, let's bring that in. Get some Ilos belt around here as well in a second to start treeing things up a little bit. Now we could go for some Ilos Lush, which is very lush. There's, the palms in that are way too strong. Let's turn those down. There we go. That's why. We're set to like 100%. Not there, though. Maybe we go for... 
here instead. A little bit of a tree line. I'll turn some green spaces against the highway. Film studio for Wild West movies. Probably won't attempt a film studio. If you haven't seen it, Tom, uh, if you can, did a film studio in Oridon and it was just insane. Like, just... My God. <laughs> Probably the best prop detail I think that's in that city. In Oridon studio build, if that's what you're looking for. But very good. Very good. Uh, right. Let's get these boys in. Uh, what's the node count at? Should we have a look? I'm pretty sure we're about 71% now. Uh, nodes. Show panel. Uh, 72. 72% of the nodes. We are right. Yeah. 72. It's not the most horrendous thing. What the key is to use when you shrink the bush sizes. Um, comma and full stop or more than and less than buttons. Um, I think you need to have tree, the new tree anarchy installed though. It won't just do it of its own accord. It has to, it's a tree anarchy functionality. Square these nodes off here as well. Okay, that's definitely sitting better with me now. It's got a car park out the front of it. So, let's now grab the service road again. There's also some multi-story car parked around here as well. I feel like I almost always neglect multi-story as an option. So why don't we do this from here and then see if we can have some node fun. Is that right? That actually might be perfectly fun for the nodes as it is. It's a wider junction here. Slightly more interesting, isn't it? Okay, and then we'll use the service road here to allow a connection into the actual baseball stadium itself. Just grand. No handicap parking in front of the offices. Yes. There is EMB. Good shout. Let's throw in some blue badge numbers. Uh, let's go for... One, two. But there is a... Car park in there, isn't there? Oh, that's a really awkward size. There we go. They're just having two. That, that'll be enough. There's not many people that work there. It's okay. Flash out those. I don't know. I feel like I'm... Yeah, I'm going to bob the trees off entirely off of this asset. We're going to tree up ourselves. The vanilla tree placements are just awful. Yeah, we'll do our own planters. Do you want to get rid of the car parks as well? Not front. I think I do. Yeah, let's get rid of them. Um, parking spaces by uh, tree anarchy for resizing bushes, prop anarchy for resizing props with move it after they've been placed. Oh, so is that how it works, Lance? Because I was having a look at that, and um, because I wanted to make the Ilos sign bigger over on the hill. So what place it? And then with move it, you can do the resize of prop anarchy. Is that how it works? Hey, yeah, I've got a 15 minute break. What way to spend it? Welcome in, Valley Lad. Welcome in. While well, Valley Lad's here, about, so we might have a little hydration break. Put a nighttime view onto the skyline. And we can have a little catch up with the chat. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> we can love downtown Ilos. Best downtown on the channel by a long way, I think. Such a nice skyline. Okay, what have I missed? Um, how do you unlock all the unique buildings? Don't want a crippling crime rate just for the oppression office. Any tips? Um, there's mods for unlock all, isn't there, Harry? You can do it in Find It as well. In Find It's options, it has a option to unlock all, of course. But yeah, hydration break and a posture check, people. Great postures. Drink. I never get to watch live as being in Florida. Time difference. Using message me up. We're welcoming goldfish. It's nice to have you in, my friend. How are you? I hope you're okay. Yeah. The car on the highway is in danger of baseballs. They are mucky. Yes, they are. <laughs> it's a risky business driving on Ilos' highways. Very much so. 
How busy the bike network is as well. Very busy. If I do that in another city, does that work for my current save? And the unique buildings transfer from save to save. Yeah, you don't need to unlock them every map. Once you've unlocked them on like your account, they're unlocked. Yeah, if that's what you mean. Yeah. Imagine the Sims just seeing it become night in seconds. Yeah. <laughs> the sun just zooms across the sky. Instant night time. Imagine people sleeping patterns. Knackered. Maybe that's why they're all crap drivers. Nihilus. It could be. Any puns for Noob's Guide Egg? Outside of 25 tiles, mate, no. It'll just be more vanilla builds. Yep. Different styles, different areas. Probably some new highway interchanges as well. I think. Yeah. I need to get a better computer. My MacBook really has to chose to make the cities run. Yeah, you need to get a PC, Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get a PC, mate, not another Mac. Yeah, so Fritz S with a 10 euro super sticker, and it's the purple guy sort of shock face and then smirking. Thank you so much, Fritz. <laughs> Appreciate the super chat, mate. Thank you so much. It's really generous. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. 125 you here as well on Saturday afternoon, everyone. Appreciate you staying inside rather than going out and having fun. Thank you for watching. Unless, of course, you're watching outside, then At that point is redundant. I just spilt water all over my face. <laughs> oh my god, basically, basically just threw the water over me and didn't even drink it. Sorry, I'm covered in it now. Right, cool. So, more car parking? I think so. Oh, a tremendous view. Yeah, it's a nice view from the skyline here. Uh, to the skyline, sorry, from here. Okay. My city can get around with all DLCs and a ton of assets. Map one runs it fine. Not as fine as a PC though, Rich. Don't try and justify it, mate. Let's <laughs> get a PC. Master race. Master race. Right, so let's do some fun car parking here. Let's respect the angle of the road, and then we'll bring in 22 meter numbers. Oh, this bloody train line's in the way now, though. Do we actually want to tunnel this until we maybe come out of the road? Do we want to do that? Maybe. If I force you into a tunnel, how unhappy are you going to be? Quite unhappy, but we'll bear with it. Mm. <laughs> That's not... It's, it's a node issue, isn't it? Can we just grab the nodes of the rail? Um, I guess they're on the ground, aren't they? Need to set them as the same height as. Let's just bring them down manually, actually. Mm. No. I think I want to leave the train line exposed. But we're going to have to do some work to make this fit in because it's messing with the terrain immensely at the moment. So we'll just fill this in. Let's not worry about the terrain depth for right now. We'll let the car parking around the baseball field take priority. Right, let's try this again. Let's bring this one out on a road length. Snap into the grid as well, actually. Yeah. And then we'll do... 17 stretch here. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, let's bring that one in there. I'll see wonder. I bet the node controller trick won't work here, will it? Yeah, because it's two connections. That's okay, though. I'm happy with that texture. Maybe get some statues out here as well. I'm pretty sure MacBook qualifies as a fantasy. Okay, we see Kelly with a, a £10 super sticker. It's the box having a seizure by the looks of it. Thank you so much, KFC. I really appreciate the super chat. <laughs> That's really nice. Thank you so much. If 
Is there, is there a Mac and PC war going on in the comments? Have I, have I started that? Yes. I have I instigated that. I will take responsibility for that one. But uh, at the end of the day, it's all helping fuel the algorithm, so... <laughs> keep going for it. Just keep it civil, right? Don't want to have to time Rich out for owning a Mac. We could make that a timeout event, actually. State your platform when you enter. If you're on a Mac, you get a five second timeout. So, think about your decisions. Right, I'm going to stop stop the Mac bashing. I'm going to get a lot of Apple fanboys coming at me after the stream. Uh, okay, so I think we'll just do cute baby car part there. And then we'll bring out some more service road. And I really want the service roads to sort of hug the stadium. And then let's just join in here for right now. Yes, and then we can start generating these quite cute concrete spaces now. And then we can do some of that little grass deeds having that we saw in Phoenix with those tiny little baby dry grasses. That's what I'm thinking. So maybe sort of an exclusive car park here, right next to the entrance, so you don't have to walk very far. That's what I'm going with anyway. Does a busy chat help your algorithm? I'm not entirely sure if a busy live chat helps with the algorithm. I don't know. I would imagine so. YouTube would read that as people being interested in the live stream. But uh, yeah, I don't know if a, a live chat actually affects the algorithm, Jen. I'm not sure. I would assume so. No traffic lights here either. Uh, in which case we also need to move to the round versions of these American roads. There we go. Cool. And then we've got more car parking space available here. Uh, let's go for... Do we do some multi-story here actually? I feel like some multi-story might be welcome. For multi-story patterns. Mm, yeah, why not? We'll place two. And then we'll go for... No angle snap, more road length here. And then like that road hook there. Straight in. And then we'll spin them around. Go. Cool. Not bad. It's on its way, isn't it? It's on its way. Console players, one year ban. No, I kind of feel bad for console players. Like, I'm happy to bully Mac users, but. Not console guys, because they just, yeah, it's a it's a limited experience, isn't it? But then again, you say that you look at people like Ricky King, like the stuff he's made on console is better than what a lot of PC players can make. It's insane. But just no mods and playing with a controller, you can't you can't bully them for that. Maybe I actually want this as parking lot as well. And then we can definitely do the node control trick here. A little bend, and then a sharpen point. And then some squaring off of all our favourite nodes. Should leave everyone mostly happy. But maybe we can maybe do a statue here, some sort of statue plaza if you will. Uh, to maybe an old baseball player. Statue of Liberty, that's a little bit too big, isn't it? <laughs> I think. Oh, oh Titan that was with a £5 super chat. Um, a group of PC fans waged war against a group of Apple fans, but alas, they lost. Their efforts were <laughs> fruitless. Yes, Rich. Alright, you can have that one, Rich. We'll give you that, mate. Yes, thank you, mate. Thank you for the super chat, dude. <laughs> we appreciate you. Um, okay, let's... And the only statue I've got is this crap. Wait, what's that? High level sandbox? It's not something I need. Yeah, I only have. Oh, that fits though, doesn't it? Hello, statue of shopping. That one isn't going to fit. Oh, the Satchel Shopping fits in this space. 
But it's a unique building. Where is it? Where did I put the statue of shopping? I'm pretty sure it's in one of these suburbs somewhere. It's here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well remembered, Egg. This build was ages ago. I'm stealing that. This is going here. Okay. And then we'll bring it in here. At what point does it lose its connection there? Okay, so I can have this pretty much centralized, actually. I'm just going to have a nice time with that. Super, great. That is amazing. So let's paint that up. Have some sort of statue area on the facility. You know, maybe it's in... I don't know. What does that look like? It's like two credit cards fused together, isn't it? But could this apply to baseball? Maybe it's... In memory of a flattened baseball that was hit by all the cars. So it looks like it's been run over. Alright. We'll go for that idea anyway. Let's go ahead and find some plants. Need to do an alien coven as well today. Don't let me forget the alien covens. We'll, uh, we will place them in. Okay, yeah. Some of these trees, these are quite tasteful. What are these? Plain street tree large. I'm happy with them. I'm happy to have these around the facility, actually. What about a tram stop? Um, yeah, there is already one nearby, Harry. Yeah, there's one here. Yeah, they've got trams over this side. Okay, this grander baseball facility is really coming together now, I feel. I think I want to keep this tree pattern going for kind of the whole design as well. So if we were to bring it in here, let's turn off our default space in. Come forward 25 meters distance. That should be acceptable for most of us. Little tree part, nothing overly serious. We need to actually reinstate that exit off of the cycle highway here. Right, let's do that now while we forget, because I definitely will forget to do that. There's no exit around this side of the map now. Uh, let's do connection onto this junction here. So we'll go for road length and angle, three unit curve. Um, can we change the elevation step, please? Come for... Four meters halfway down. And then we'll do another three unit curve. No node grabbing there. And then come down to two meters. And then we'll just do no collision. And then come down here and we'll have that just sit up against this space over there cool. it's not too much of a horrendous gradient is it hopefully Lee Hawkins isn't going to turn up and tell us about the gradient uh, on our front for the saga I'll be handy yes just great minds Tom great minds mate <laughs> Once you get on the cycle highway, you never get off. I know, and this cycle highway is exposed to the sun as well. Imagine actually using this thing. You'd be baked. There's no cover at all from that immense Isle of Heat, is there? Okay. I'm definitely feeling this now. This is getting better. Uh, your voice is soothing. Love watching these just before bed. Thank you, Emily. You're not the only one. There are other uh, ASMR people in the community as well. Thank you for watching though, I appreciate it. Uh, Michael W became a YouTube egg. Uh, thank you so much Michael, appreciate your support buddy. Should have access to some emojis now. <laughs> which, which Jen is spamming there. And Jen is, Jen is spamming. Right, so I want to do some planters now. So ideally it would be nice to use service paint here, but um, we're not on the grid divide, so it's going to be just impossible to do basically. So I think in place of the sand, we will replace it with grass planters. And again, we'll see where we can use these. So if we were to place down one, let's then browse our bushes and see what we can do. Um, 
Ideally workshop stuff. Pink bushes, blue. And it was all it was all kind of dry, wasn't it? There wasn't much colour in all those palettes we saw in Phoenix. It's all very much that basically. These sort of drier grasses. So place down four of these in a planter. Does it look really underwhelming? Oh, this is massively annoying, that's too close to the red. Let's move everyone over. There we go. And of course we don't have to copy Phoenix exactly, but if we're after a vibe then... I don't know, I'm like scowling at the minute for those because I don't have a face cam. Um, I'm scowling at my own bush. I'm not sure if I'm on board with it. Um, just, just realised that could be taken out of context. I, I mean, the bushes in the game. Maybe some of these cute little white numbers in there as well. I don't really want to bring much colour in. Not some of this. That does sort of help. Kind of. Yeah. A dry planter. I think I'm on board with that. Yeah. I think it's alright. Uh, is there a bug where you added the ramp? Two bikes in a row disappeared right there. Um, that's probably just their pathing AI losing its mind because a new connection came in. Same things happen when you join a road as well. The cars will sometimes disappear because a new connection has come in and it confuses it. Uh, yes, that is so cute. Jen's on board. How is Coca Beans? Uh, she's alright. Yeah, she's good. She had a little eye infection earlier this week. So we took her to the doctor's and got her some uh, eye drops. £75 pound it, it costed me to get eye drops for a Cocker Spaniel. How expensive is that? We're in the wrong business, everyone. We should be... Veterinarians. Oh, don't tell me they change size again every time you place them. Oh my god, no, no, no. I'm not doing that. That's way too much. Nope. <laughs> right, okay. We cannot use the dry grasses. Um, unless there's any that will fit it. These kind of do. Okay, right, that idea's gone then. So, let's come back to a planter. And then... Maybe use these instead. They're a little bit greener though. I'm not doing that for every single planter. We'll be here for hours. I guess these red ones are kind of dryish looking, aren't they? Look a little bit like they're just about flowering. Maybe the wood is really parched. Okay. Throw a couple of cacti in there. Mm. That's not appropriate egg? What? What? I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't know what I did, John. Um, sounds like the start of the manscape. Oh, was she talking about the bush? All right. Oh, hey, Josh. Welcome in, mate. Nice. I didn't see you come in. You right, buddy? How you doing? Got a couple of cacti in there. Yeah, I'm not really into cacti here, I don't think. Oh, that is quite nice, though. We'll leave it in. We'll see how you feel. Um, the stream is sponsored by the Warbird 4.0. Yes, yes, it is. Well, it's not, but yeah, it would be. It ha has been in the past. <laughs> has been in the past. Will we be getting more day in the life of Coca Beans? Do you guys want more day in the life of Coca Beans content? I can do you a day in the life if you want. That one was for a subscriber special, but if you want more of it, yeah. But they don't take long to make. <laughs> it's just following the dog around with the camera for the day. Yeah, just start a huge city. I usually uh, build small, detailed villages and suburban areas, but I was really inspired to start a huge one. Yeah, well, I, I like doing that as well. Big Beans, sort of a more county sort of vibe. Ilos is very much out of my traditional build style, if you like. But I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you, mate. Oh, for you, Candy. With the 449 Super Chat. Drop me subscribe, please. You know the drill. <laughs> Happy to be back in Ilos Live. Thanks, Zach. 
Hey, so what's we'll your exactly? Yes, uh, hydration break and posture check. Uh, if you can, has reminded us. Let's go ahead and throw in a nighttime view here. And that uh, we'll, we'll posture check and hydration break with our new baseball facility in the foreground of downtown Ilos. Tremendous. Thank you so much for SuperTech VC. Appreciate it. Uh, maybe the new CC grasses that came with the airport. That's not a bad shout, actually, EMB. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. We'll try those. Um, you talking about scaling at your bush? Oh, right. That's what you're talking about, Jen. Yeah, that, that's that's fair enough then. Uh, doing well, buddy. Hope you're as well. Yes, I'm doing well, Josh, mate. I'm doing good. Long time. It feels like long time no speak, Josh. Hope you're all well, mate. Say hello to Shelly as well for me, please. Uh, Maniac Mania with a 10 US dollar super chat made it happy Saturday. Oh, hello, people. Hello, people to you, Maniac. Welcome in, mate. How you doing? Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Appreciate you. The best. Uh, always doggo content. Can't say no to more Coco. Petition for a side canal dedicated to Coco. Oh, a side channel. Oh, what, like Coco's own channel? I'd be mortified if that got more subscribers <laughs> than the overcharged egg one. <laughs> Yes, more cocoa content. Okay, all right. I'll see if I can do a day in the life of cocoa beans. And the algorithm won't like it, but if you guys enjoy it, then we can do. I love cocoa. Oh, bad wolf with another uh, two dollar Australian super chat. Starting the cocoa beans film. <laughs> cocoa beans film fund. Yes, I love that cocoa beans. It's got so much um, fanship. <laughs> if you like, I'm sure she'll be flattered. It was actually. Do you want to see some Coco content for those that aren't in the Discord? I posted it in there a few days ago. Let me show you. Um, questions on Spice of the Month. Um, oh yes, I haven't posted Spice of the Month, have I? I'll do that after the stream. Um, yes, Pets of the Server. I'll show you why we run our hydration break. Here you go. For those that haven't seen Coco before, there she is. Got a fringe now. <laughs> so cute. Like bangs hanging over her eyes. Just the most adorable little puppy. Well, she's not a puppy. She's 10 in a couple of months. Quite an old little lady now, actually. As far as dogs go. Uh, I tend to plan big cities and then overwhelm myself with possibilities, so I bail out and start a new one. Yes, I was very much in that mindset as well when I started playing. And then I just started slowing down and not worrying about the big picture. Hence, Palavan. And here we are. Oh, open mindset with a 10 euro super chat. You need one alien sitting on the bench and still waiting for um, a Margaret district. Hello, people. Hello, open mindset. Thank you so much for the super chat, mate. Really appreciate it. And uh, yes, we can do the alien sitting on the bench. Almost like a reference to um, that guy we saw on Google Earth. <laughs> that would be quite funny, actually. Maybe he's the real life alien coven. Yeah. Adorable, she's gorgeous, isn't she? Seventies hair, yeah. She's got a proper little hairdo. Yeah, we don't do that on purpose either. That's like how it grows. Yeah, it's not like we style that in or anything. It's just what she looks like. Crazy. Oh, Emily Gleason with a fourteen ninety nine Australian dollar super sticker. And it's the pair bowing and saying thank you, thank you, Emily. That's really generous. Thank you so much. I appreciate her. Thank you for the super chats, guys. Um, yes, let's do the alien coven for the area, shall we? Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the alien in. Maybe on one of these benches by the statue. Like that guy was just chilling on the bench. Um, I guess he'd be in a dress, wouldn't it? Oh no, not the one with the gun though. That's the hug. Can I recess this into the ground? Or can I not move it because it's a prop? Well, yes I can. Yeah, I don't have sitting aliens unfortunately, but I can sort of fuse her into the earth. So, yeah, so it just, it's just like that guy sitting on the bench that we saw in Google Earth, right? There was trees around here too, wasn't there? Or in Google Earth there was, rather. Yeah, let's go for the younger trees in the middle, actually. Just to provide some shades over those benches at the foreground. Even though Y has Paradox done that, why is there three benches on this side and only two on that one? Why? <laughs> Why did they do that? It's so irritating. Whatever, it's fine though. We'll leave it there. And then these ones are not evenly spaced at all. I've only just noticed how lopsided this asset is. But it's okay. It's fine. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Something like that. Can we go see a Palavan? Um, not today, Harry. I'm loaded up with Ilos's mod set. I'd have to go and switch it all over to get into Palavan. Just watch the 50k special again. That's a nice Palavan recap. Yeah, Luscious looks on that pup, isn't she? Yes, I can never get my friends to look that good. <laughs> can you not, Lauren? <laughs> yeah, she's born with naturally good hair. She is. Natural hairstyle icon as well. Yeah, okay. Well, if there's a lot of demand for Coco content, then we can do it. I'll see if I can just record her antics during the day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bench Dude is actually an alien, yes please, yes he is. Uh, do we need a, one like Casino too? Like alien just stole their loot on the red and others are mad. <laughs> uh, yes we can do. Yes that's good, yeah we'll go to an alien coming at the casino as well. Yeah, we will. Maybe yeah, all the other aliens are like around the back of the casino pointing guns at the one that lost all their money. Like you idiot. <laughs> How are we going to get home now? Not that aliens would use earth currency to get back home, but you get my point. Oh, Mehmet Ali Briskin with a, a 200 Turkish Lira super sticker, and it's a a pill with legs slamming it into the ground, screaming rage quit. There's some weird super stickers. <laughs> what the hell? Thank you so much for the super chat, Mehmet. Really appreciate it, buddy. It's nice to see you in the stream. My birthday is today, and only people remember my, my bank sites and stuff from. Oh my god. It's Mehmet's birthday. Happy birthday, Mehmet. Should we give him a, a build named after him? I feel like we should. I feel like we love my man. Um, where do we... Richard Francisville over here has Dylos up there. Is there anything unnamed? There's the JCO High School. Michael W. Flats, Valley Lad, Jane, Steve, you candy. Brad's, <laughs> Brad's big box. Oh, that's so funny. The Terminus Systems, that's so good. I think everything's named, isn't it? Is there anything not named? Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, Park Heights. Um, Mehmet. Uh, fields. Hey, so much to share Happy birthday, mate. You can enjoy one of Ilos's downtown outer lying suburbs named after you. Uh, right, okay, yeah. Let's go to the casino. Um, we'll do uh, a little... Oh yes, buy the trash bins as well. That is perfect. Okay. Um, so I want the trench coat with the gun. Yeah, okay, so they've cornered the guy. He lost all the money on red, I think is what Fear Candy said, right? And then all the aliens in the trench coats are like, Dave, <laughs> you idiot. We spent ages gathering that money. How could you lose it all on red? And then Paul is like, but it was a sure thing. <laughs> it was a sure bet. Right? We don't have any... I don't know. Do any of the props that would suit this coven? Obviously don't have casino chips. Um, is there anything that would look like a casino chip? Like Paul who's surrounded by casino chips on the floor. Like he's tried to like steal from the casino. Something small and circular. Um, let's have a look through the prop list. Don't think we can repurpose anything. Uh, there's nothing that small. Can we go for. Maybe he's got like a barrel of cash. Or a barrel of poker chips. And he's like, no, <laughs> you're not having them. Because he's developed like a gambling addiction while he's, while he's landed on Earth trying to get home. And he's like, no. They're my chips. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, lazy building. Exposed for my surface paint to work. Let me tidy that up. There we go. Cool. Alright, there you go. Cool. Right. Let's return to the wonderful world of baseball, everyone. We need to figure out these partners. So, let's go for... These. When's the match day here? I could do with finding out when it actually is. It was cancelled. It has not enough electricity, of course. Right, let's 
have a look at that then. Oh, none of you guys do. You not? I thought you'd be thinking through. Okay. Um. Let's just do some earthquake sensors for right now until we know what else is going to set over here. That should be sending power through. Is everyone alright? Yes, there we go. Go. Cool. Yeah, so I really I need to see where people are walking so we can create these little walkable sort of planter corridors around. Essence you're at the casino, can you detail the airstrip there? Yes, we will do more detail around the airstrip. I think I actually might end up doubling up the aviation club. So it's almost like two one ways, because that one that we saw in Nevada in the episode had like three one ways, but I don't want to set up another airport's DLC area. So yeah, we might head back over there and double up the airstrip. Okay, so that's nice. That's going to merge nicely together. Let's then take this pallet. And then we'll just duplicate it around now. Yeah, so seeing where people walk would be really nice for framing the pathways with this planter design. Uh, if indeed we can do it, we should be able to. Let's make sure we get that grass merged together as well in the planters. Yeah, so it's like that. Okay, and then same again over this side. It's actually quite nice. I like fusing these planters together. Okay. And then we'll grab everything on this axis. And we'll just move it over to like here. It's not going to be even though, is it? Is that going to irritate me? It possibly will. In which case, can we slightly amend the positioning of the stadium, maybe to about there? Some little bits will need to be enabled to touch more, like this bit here. Need to move the office space and down a bit too, but other than that we should be okay. Let's go for those. Hmm, I am quite lopsided here, aren't I? Hmm. Doesn't have to be perfect, I guess, does it? I want to like leave a little bit of walkable space, like so. You imagine people would just walk around that corner. That's kind of the vibe I want. Okay. I think I'm on board with it. I think aliens secretly run the casino. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they could stop. Yeah, I don't know where you could watch United. Mate, what score is it in? I haven't seen it, mate. I've not got BT Sport. So I can't watch it. Yeah, what score is it? Is it still nil nil? I saw Casemiro was starting on the bench. Yeah, I got pop off for the night and have a great one, Lord. Thank you, Bad Wolf. Thank you for hanging out and for super chats as well, lovely. Have a nice night. That'd be a great spot for some hot dog carts. Yes, yes, we will do some hot dogs around here. Definitely. Now do this again. Oh my word. No, don't do that. Off segments. And then, yeah, I want this like... Here. And then we'll grab... These ones here too. And then just gently fuse them in. So they're somewhat together. And what we will do is grab those ones and then just bring them down at the same point as well. And then let's just amend a few of these nodes over here so we've got a little bit of breathing room between like the pavement and the actual punters. And there we go. Oh yeah, there's someone waiting outside it. Makes it seem a little more alive, doesn't it? Okay. 
You could just adjust where that parking lot road joins and buy yourself some extra space. Yeah, I could do. Which I think we have just done, if you're talking about the same one I've just uh, relocated there. All these people parking on the road. Idiots. We're in basically Phoenix. Technically, four car parking spaces for every car in the city. Uh, let's actually get the car parking spaces in. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Because it's all empty at the minute. Uh, let's go for some 4x2 ones. 3x2. Break the snap. And do these ones. Snap, there we go. Just ignoring my commands. Cool, and that should be good for us. I did see someone just shout out a fountain. Harry, what about a fountain on the right? I think a fountain would be welcome here, wouldn't it? Garden one. Or we could do some of the... Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. You know what we haven't done in Isles for ages is the Isles Rock Gardens. I feel like the spaces here would be perfect for them. Outside of the a basketball stadium. Baseball. Why don't you want fucking basketball? Uh, what I want to do is also encourage the walkability of people to use this open concrete space here. By like just having a little path nodes in this area. Let's see if that forces people down them. There we go, he's coming into the stadium. There you go. Walking through the metal bars rather than through the doors, that's okay. And um, yeah, the rock fountains and the water jets that we've got, actually don't, I don't even need to make them again. I can just copy them from the convention plaza that we've got over here. I absolutely love this part of the city. The downtown view, sorry, we're just going to get distracted and fawn over Ilos for a little bit, but the nighttime view from the convention plaza is truly one of my favourite areas of the city. All this open concrete car parking space and then the the view to the skyline from here. Love it. I <laughs> love this part of the map. Very nice little build, this one. Ages ago as well. Like, literally months ago we put this together now. Um, yes, a little Ilos Rock Gardens that we are all so fond of. So we want trees. No, uh, just trees and props, I think. And buildings as well to get the rocks. There we go. We'll just take the template and put them into the stadium. Should work quite nicely. Might switch out some of the um, trees so it's ever so slightly different. Looks like a little bit of my propage hasn't transferred across either. That's it. Did I just plant that down twice? That's really weird. Look how the like the prop fences doubled itself up with a move it copy and paste. I've never seen it do that before. That is very weird. Right, let me try that again. Because that's not gone well. Let's just delete that. Does it look like that in the stadium? Is that why it's copied and pasted like that? Oh, yes, it does. It has like two layers of fencing around it in some places. And some bits of it are missing. Okay, let's try that copy and paste again. That was a little bit weird. The nodes? We're not using any nodes, Harry. This is all props, mate. No nodes here. Yeah, and then I paste it in. And, yeah, it, it kind of does it. It sort of doors itself up in some places. I mean, you, you can't really tell from afar. You, you can't tell at all, but it's there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're getting distracted. Let's go ahead and just fill that space in with it. Ourselves. Splendid. I wonder if because it was made with linear fence fill, prop line tool, 
and now it's being covered in basically move it, it doesn't quite know how to transfer it all over. I'm guessing that's the issue. Um, are these lit at night? No. Some after dark lights, perhaps? It's going to be totally horrendous, is it? Uh, feel free to shout out colours as well for... Is there a particular colour that's associated with baseball in America? Like a sort of red, white and blue would be the association, wouldn't it? Because it's like the American dream. To play baseball and have a white picket fence, etc. Just the perfect size it is, isn't it, Star? It was um, meant to be fit. Wouldn't a rock fountain be a volcano? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it I guess it would EMB. Yes, it would. Jen's loving the rock gardens as always. I love watching those videos on bad American planning and then seeing the comments of Americans trying to defend their planning rules. I was I was saw in one of those. Um came up in my suggested the other day. It was about how America are trying to cool down America's hottest city, which coincidentally was Phoenix. And how it's been so terribly designed with all that black asphalt that just heats the air around it. And how, yeah, just like how insanely hot Phoenix actually is. It's, uh, it's really interesting watch, actually. It's interesting. Um, teal, red, white, or blue, usually. We don't have a red... Oh, yes, we do. Oh, should we do the red, white, and blue, then? I feel like that's quite American, isn't it? I mean, you can't really tell the blue lights there. It's really subtle. Is there a, a harsher blue? Yeah, that one's a bit better, isn't it? Oh, good luck finding that light that you just placed, Egg. <laughs> Never getting that one back. Okay. Yeah, I think the red, white, and blue is... um. Look up the Diamondback colours. Jason's got a point, actually. What colour are the Diamondbacks? Red and black. Eh, yeah, I can't really have a black light. I could have a red light, but it makes it look a little bit more Amsterdam-y. Um, pink. <laughs> if you see some brand as always. But I like teal, please. Team colours usually. Whatever the home team colours are wearing. Black and red. Red, black, and gold for the diamond back. Yeah, we can't get a gold light. I mean, I guess we could do an orange light. But there's no black light, obviously. Um, I'm kind of leaning into the red, white, and blue, you know. Just because it's baseball and it's the American dream, etc. So, I think we're going to go with that. Blue. And then white again. And then red. Okay. Wait, am I actually seeing an OE live stream live? You are a gamer. Welcome in, mate. Actually, no, this is a video. It's all pre recorded. <laughs> I just knew you would turn up at this point. Welcome in, gamer. It's nice to meet you, mate. Welcome into a stream, my friend. Maroon and beige. Red, white, and blue fits the aesthetic of the stadium for sure. It's nice, isn't it? I like the little blue hue that's on the stadium now as well. It's all right, I think, isn't it? Very American. This could be the most American screenshot in the city. Car parking. Indeed, two different types of car parking because the um, multi-stories are in the background. And then a baseball stadium that is illuminated with the colors of the American flag. Yeah. I think I'm on board with it. I think I'm happy. Yeah, I am. I'm enjoying it. It's not, <laughs> it's not as nice as teal, but okay. Jen's getting salty that we've ignored her colour. Let it go, Jen. We're not doing teal here. We'll do teal another time. Another time. <laughs> Uh, right, let's round up this road network now, and then we can detail up the side of the... Oh, yes, look at the rail line passing by there. Yes, please. Hello, rail, which is immediately crashing into an enormous pillar that I have not noticed before. Let me move that. Is that off the highway? Yes, it is. Let's move that along, and then that bicycle post is in the way there, too. There we go. Wonderful. I can tell. 
Thanks. Thanks for your support. <laughs> Uh, I love that Jens is fuming over the fact that we haven't gone for teal. Right, so now I want to do sort of a few bars, etc. For people to grab a few drinks at after the um, the big game is over, right? The title decider. Uh, so, let's get a shake in there. A catfish cafe as well, if I can find it. I wouldn't want to be on that train, yeah. <laughs> That's been there the entire time as well. I wonder how many people have lost their lives to the Alice train network. Probably a lot, right? We need a backseat as well, just for Jen. Yeah, Jen's backseat colour coding. Jen, please no backseat game and join the live streams. Mods time her out if she does it again. I'm gonna get one warning. Um where's my catfish cafe? I don't want a Shake Shack, I might do a Shake Shack actually. Shake Shack? I've never been to a Shake Shack. Although I can't really drink milkshake, so... Probably be a wasted trip. <laughs> oh, no. That's probably why I've never been. Um, Where's my fucking catfish? There it is. Yeah, sort of fuse a few little commercial units together here for some... Uh, potential... Detailing without. Oh. So, can I get this catfish cafe on the corner? If we move these boys up, can we finagle this so it fits in this little space here? I imagine we can. Yeah. Let's just get it so it's like right on that corner there. Splendid. Gotta go with this build, have fun everyone, just dropping in a friendly Anna. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Harry, no worries, mate. You uh, go collect the commission from Ubisoft, mate, for your constant promotions of Anno 1800. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Alright, cool. So let's do some extended detail in here. Uh, let's go for a table. That's the French way of saying table for those that don't know. Uh, and then... Yeah, and we'll get the umbrella as well. Green umbrella, yes please. Cool. And then we'll grab these and place them in a few different places. United, oh did you tell me the score Ian? Did I, did I miss it mate? What score is it? I feel like I need, I can't check the score on live stream. Can someone let me know the United score please? Be interested. <laughs> Just to know. Okay. Um, right, yeah, let's just get some of these tables down. Yeah, fairly erratic, like they've been moved as people have sat on them and not been put back. A few more here as well. It's 1-0, Ian. Ian, you didn't give me the team. <laughs> Is it 1-0 to United or 1-0 to Southampton? Bruno, Bruno's good. Good, that makes a change, doesn't it? Very nice. Uh, oh, no. No. Can I finagle this section away? Yes. That gives slightly more interest to the road network, doesn't it? It's not just straight anymore. Sure, whatever. I'm happy with that. Okay. It speaks volumes about them when Egg Stream clashes with the game. No, it speaks volumes about Egg subscription services. I don't pay for BT Sport, so I can't watch it today. Otherwise, yes, we wouldn't be live. But yeah, it's on BT, so no match day today. Okay, yes, fencing by the train tracks. Yes, we do, Saga, and you're absolutely right. Let's go ahead and keep the chain link fence vibes that are around this part of the build. Uh, come on to learn the offence, Phil. French with overcharged egg. <laughs> French with overcharged egg. Yes, Lauren, it is. It's French though, Charles Dag. Dad to do French in high school. I remember the word for baker and lawyer, I think. That's about it. Obviously, bonjour people. I don't know what's the French word for people. Should we find out actually? What would be the French version? French for people. Poisson. 
Bonjour Person would be the French overcharge tag. There we go. Let's go some Alos Dry Belt up here too. I'll see, now we've got the road frames and we can soften this terrain back out a little bit. And um, let's go for soften here. Uh, hey Chris, apologies for being late. Apologies not accepted. Leave. <laughs> you really here at the start or not at all. I'm joking by the way. Welcome in Chris. Nice to see you mate. Hope you're doing well. Welcome into the stream buddy. Okay. Uh, plenty of the Ilos dry belt through here. Mm, I think maybe one... Yeah, we're going to keep this pattern going all the way around, aren't we? These are on a 25 metre fill. I believe. And then I think we'll just have this real basic street tree pattern running sort of around the entire facility. Like it's almost perhaps branding in a way. If that makes any sense at all. Um, are you alright, Jen? You're spamming the chat. What's up? My goodness. No. Overcharge Oof. I'm pretty sure uh, Robbie gave me the name for German Overcharge Deck as well. Okay, right, going for mid-afternoon shower, I'll be right back, enjoy the shower if you see. Thank you for hanging out. It's sat on me. It's sat one in. Oh, what, is EMB coming after you, is he? No, he usually is, yeah. He's usually after someone. Okay. So we need some more details around here. Um, if we glance back at our best friend Google Earth, there's almost like... It looks like a tennis court. I really wish I could get street view here. As you know what we might be able to do is, let's actually go and look for the American Family Fields of Phoenix. And see if they have any pictures on their website. Uh, do they not have a website? Are they not like their own company? No. Something on the MLB site? No. Okay, right. So there's a track and field. This is blending into a elementary school campus though, so we'll ignore that for right now. But yeah, these little green areas here that I've got like a cover over them. It almost looks like it's a sort of tennis court with shit all over it. Like it's not active. We've got trees between the fields as well, in the green spaces. And it looks like the entire thing is fenced off. We won't be able to see that from the road, will we? I think. Oh, so you know we can. Yeah, okay. So there's actually a really high perimeter fence running all the way around that facility. You can see it in the distance there. Okay, maybe we shouldn't be using chain link fencing then, because this is the chain link fencing that we're trying to use, but it isn't that. It's much taller. Okay, so trees and taller fencing are a vibe that we should bring into this kind of smaller supplementary facility, I think. Um, let's go ahead and find some appropriate fencing first of all. So there is the prison fence. Which would be absolutely perfect if not for the barbed wire along the top of it. That's 
distinct vibe, isn't it? Um, there are no defense ins. I'm not using those. Prison fence long. I'm, I'm going to go with the prison fence, if that's all right. We're just going to have to ignore the fact that there's barbed wire on them. Um, yeah, I'm going to replace the chain link fencing with prison fencing. And then we'll get some trees on there as well. Just bear with it. I'm sure it'll come out all right. And if not, then there's plenty of jokes that can be made for perhaps the children that don't want to play baseball are forced in there by their parents. Okay, which makes it feel like a prison, right? Um, that would be net to stop the balls. I guess, yeah, yeah. I bet it's a baseball training camp. Could be. There's a few of these over at Phoenix. I'm guessing there's just big, um, sort of baseball vibes in Phoenix, isn't there? So. Same thing in England, I guess. Like, you know, you walk around England and see a football pitch everywhere. It's because we all love football. I guess it's the same vibe in Arizona. Uh, okay, let's bring these up to 21 meter fill. They actually look a little bit leafier. I think I might actually go for some of these. Uh, I've not tallied this service paint up here either. Nice poor service painter form. Let's uh, amend this. There we go. We'll dive back into those trees. So I'm going to offset it from every other pathway. That should give us quite a nice pattern, actually. Let's also amend this, too. Totally realized we just abandoned this build like halfway through and immediately moved to the larger stadium. Let's actually come back and finish this, shall we? Uh, and then here, yeah. something like that makes it slightly more interesting, doesn't it? Okay, the barbed wire really adds a vibe, doesn't it? Okay, hey JJ, welcome in, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, lots of training camps in Arizona because it's nice weather in the off season. When is the off season for baseball? Do they play through the summer or do they play through the winter? I really like those trees. They've given it a nice little pop. I'd say if you plant some solar panels nearby, we could go one better and have an eco-friendly electric fire barbed <laughs> wire fence. <laughs> Yes, yes, we could. We could indeed. But some solar panels would actually look quite nice here. Yeah. Okay. I think then, after we've got these, and now let's come into our larger tree sections, and we'll just bring in some thicker, leafier numbers. That'll help kill a little bit of awkward space here for us. In these corners over the sides. Try not make it too repeatable. Just sort of generic green overgrowth. I mentioned in a live stream, I think it was an episode during the golf course episode actually, um, that we sort of have to be a little bit careful with some of the trees because Phoenix is a lot greener than I initially sort of thought it was. So I think especially in like the suburban spaces, there's a lot of areas now that I could probably do with going back over and re-greenifying them a little bit. Mm, yeah, just general grasses is okay through here. Just get them down. A very cool build, this one, though. It's got a very distinct little look to it, hasn't it? The very noticeable pattern of four, or I guess five repeated baseball fields here now. Something that you can certainly see from the satellite view in Phoenix. We can now have it in ILOs, too. Yeah, I also kind of wish we'd have wrapped the car park and all the way around it. That gives it a really heavy box vibe, doesn't it? Which works nice with the curve of the fence. Seeing that from the bird's eye perspective. But, you know, we can do more of these. 
Yeah, I just I don't need that much car park in here. It's a little bit overkill. It was cute. It is cute. I do like it. It's on its way anyway. Uh, they play in the summer. Baseball is a summer season, is it? Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a game with baseball, apart from in like films and stuff. No, the Mets, are they? The Mets are baseball. And the Eagles. I think so. I think the Eagles are them as well, aren't they? I think so. Yeah. Oh, did I miss a super chat? James, did I not read your super chat out? I feel like I missed that one. Uh, James Aviation with a five US dollar super chat. If you don't want to have bad American ponies, you should have plenty of parking for the stadium. It's not fun where there is no parking. Okay. Thanks for the super chat, mate. I, did, I think I missed that, didn't I? Yes. So hopefully this is enough parking, right? There's enough around this facility to supplement it, support it, I hope. I hope so, anyway. Uh, and then Jennifer, uh, well, JCO Sunshine with a five US dollar super chat. Love this love stream. <laughs> so happy back in my beloved Ilos. Yes. Welcome back, Jen. Welcome back to Ilos. I know you've missed it. Thank you for the super chat, lovely. I really appreciate it. It's really nice. Any console players in the chat? Yes. Eagles are American football. Oh, Eagles are NFL, are they? Okay, okay. The Mets are basketball, uh, baseball, though, right? I think. The comments of this live stream vod is going to be full of baseball enthusiasts. Things you'd love to see. Alright, so there's one little space here that's made itself known, hasn't it? Um, again, I think I'm tempted for some more parking, and um, we'll just go for a single-ended one. Um, if I can slide this node back a touch to about there, and then we'll just have this little car parking section here. Okay. Go ahead and get some small spaces on that one. We'll provide some uh, blue badge spice over here as well. Or straightening off the node. There we go. And then let's go for 4 by 2 Can we paint this off on a ridge? Is that going to be alright? Should be. Make sure it's flush with this road here. I think we'll just do some greeny, sort of more parky looking space here. I need to amend the surface painter frames though. There we go. And then should we go for some more grass? I think we maybe should. Um, yeah, get some grass in there. Just gonna have a glance back at Google Earth and see if there's any sort of props that we're obviously ignoring. Oh, that sunken stadium in Phoenix is really cool, the way it kind of bends down into the ground. It's a shame we can't do that in Cities, not with this asset anyway. Okay. Yeah, there's not much to the frontage, it's just kind of more parking. Yeah, there's not vast amounts there. Okay. Mets and Yankees are the baseball teams in New York. Yes, the Yankees. I know the Yankees. I've heard that one before. Uh, the world used to be a newspaper first. Uh, newspaper that sponsored baseball series, but just went bust. But the name stayed on. That's why it's World Series, but it's just a USA sport. Okay. I had no idea about that. Thank you, Dax. The Eagles are the Philly football team. Okay. There's an Eagles baseball team in Japan. Honestly, like they do sport more than Americans do. Oh, and then... um. Krishnendu Mukherjee, am I proud? I'm massively butchering your name, my friend, I'm so sorry. And with a 29 ruby super sticker and it is a slice of cake. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate that, mate. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. You guys have been really generous to donations today. It's really nice of you all. Thank you so much. I think we go for a little pattern of hardwood trees here as well. I mean, we need to name the baseball team, right? What are we naming the Ilos baseball people? Players team. Yeah, look, well, we can get some suggestions for uh, the Ilos team name. 
That would be tremendous, guys. Post in the live chat. As always, the one that makes me laugh will probably get it. Oh, there we go. Missed the reset objects then. Cool. I feel like I want this road here as well to be a yellow dash median. Um, yeah, this one. Not the wide version though. There we go. Yeah, I like the little yellow line there. That surface uh, earthquake centers on the road as well. There we go. Okay. The Ilos, <laughs> the Ilos inmates. Oh, Robbie might have won it straight out the gate there. <laughs> I do like the inmates. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. The Ilos murderers. Yes, Diaxis is good there. The Ilos extraterrestrials. Oh, yes, that's a good one for the alien comments as well. Oh, they're really good. Fiery phoenixes. Ilos margarets. You need you, you need the margaret district, don't you? Open mindset. Let me give that to you now. Why you just reminded me again? There's another district over here that's not named, isn't there? Yeah, there you go. Um, where is it? Uh, Margaret. Hills? I mean, I could, I could say hills, but it's not, um... Hills, is it? It's a flat desert. Um, there you go. So, Margaret Flats. There you go. Remember now. Oh, JJ R with the 149 super sticker, and it's a skyline. Thank you so much, JJ. Appreciate your support, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, that's your share of the birthday cake, mate. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. The Eyeless Idiots, Eyeless Nurgles, Eyeless Aliens. Two shouts for Eyeless Aliens, Eyeless Dry. Teal Oceans, let it go, Jen. <laughs> let it go. Eyeless 51s, the Eyeless You Loss. Prepare. <laughs> Prepare to basketball. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prepared to baseball. I like that, Nicholas. <laughs> I feel like we use that all the time, though. <laughs> prepared to baseball. Um, oh, the Ilos Interstellars. That's a really good one. Oh, yeah. There's some really good names there. Okay. We're going to have to put this to a poll, I think. We're going to have to put this on a poll. Um... Oh, CC Luke with a 199 US dollar super chat. Looks great, egg loving Father's Frontier too. Yes, thank you so much, Luke. Give us a super chat, mate. Yeah, fan for, uh, Father's Frontier is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying that. Okay, we're going to have to put a poll up because that's too hilarious. Um, name of Ilos's baseball team. So we'll do the one that made me laugh first, which was the Ilos. Inmates, which was a really good one. Uh, then we'll do Prepare to Baseball, which is always a classic. Uh, what was your other popular ones? The Interstellars. I really like the Interstellars. That's very like branded. I like that one. Uh, and then the Alice Aliens was another popular shout as well, wasn't it? Oh, James has got a good one. The I lost node counts. <laughs> I like that one. I can only have four options, though. Okay. And then we'll do I lost aliens, I think. I lost aliens. Prepare to baseball stadium, home with the I lost inmates. Oh, yeah, I guess we could do the stadium as prepare to baseball, couldn't we? Okay. Right, I think the poll's ready. There we go. Right, there's a poll in the live chat, guys, if you'd like to vote on the name of the Ilos team. Slash stadium, because we can always change the thing, right? Um, can you change the team name if it's outside of a varsity area? A campus area, I think? Thompson University Alligators. Um, yes, it. you can't change the name, can you? Unless it's a part of a university, and then it takes the name of the university and the logo, I think. We'll name the stadium, anyway. Yeah, we should be okay. Interstellars is very, very marketable. It is, isn't it, Sam? That's exactly what I thought. Yeah, Interstellars is very marketable. 
Okay, so while that vote goes on, let's return to the main stadium here. And uh, have a look at a fountain. Which is what we were doing before we got distracted with the other one, wasn't it? That looks bad, though. Let's not use that one. This one here. Some benches around it. If you can, these back. Oh my god, back there's a pole. There is a pole, if you see. Yes, there is. Voting on the name. I just need to go and do this, and then we'll check the pole. Realize I could use prop line tool to do that, but we've done it now. Okay, and I think just to murder some of that concrete space. Um, as we had a good shot for hot dog stands, didn't we? Um, yeah. Let's do this, and then we'll have them um, sort of along here. Green City's action would work really nicely, I'll see, in this space. Ice cream vans. Kind of mix and match in them, maybe. Put them next to each other. Definitely need some food store props off the workshop for stuff like that. The part life ones are pretty limited. It does a job though, doesn't it? Uh, I want some planters around here as well, but I am just going to go and top my drink up. Uh, very briefly, guys, let me give you a nighttime view. Give me like a minute. I'm just going to go top up my water. And then we'll be right back. Okay. Cool. Give me a second. Okay, hello people. Hello. Okay. Uh, Centralizer Fountain of the Stadium. Um, concrete Island, I think it's got to be. Centered, centered in, yeah. Uh, right, what's the poll doing? Oh, Islas Interstellar is popular by a long way. Okay. Yeah, Interstellar it is then. Interstellar it is. So, I lost Interstellars. There we go. Yeah, so we can't change the name of the team because it has to be under a Varsity Sports area. Like you can see, it's done with the um, American Stadium here in the University tab. You go to Varsity Sports, it will take on the name of the university and then the animal that you set um, here. So, we can't actually change the name of the team. Uh, just because it's just a little bit irritating the way it works, but we can pretend, right? We all know it. Um, I lost Interstellar's. I'm lost. Where am I? Here we are. Okay. But otherwise, I think I'm coming to a happy conclusion with this build now. It's definitely on its way. Let's bring some dry belt around this side without bleeding onto the road where possible. So through here as well. And then I want to do some planters in this space too. Some little circular numbers should be more than welcome. Yeah, so centralise. I mean, that, that's a design flaw that I haven't centralised it, but we're working with awkward space. This is what today's stream was about, so I'm happy to not have it super centralised. It's my excuse for that. <laughs> so i have to bear with it. Okay, and then one more in there. Then let's find a nice tree, maybe something we don't use too often. Maybe this one. That one's quite cute, right? That's very nice, actually. 
Do you like that one? Let's move it. Bring this in. Aim while the practice feels prepared to baseball. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Okay. Got public transport connection to the stadium. Not sure where we are on the mile grid. Uh, yes, there is a tram stop here. We're on the very southern arterial frame of the mile grids. Yeah. This one here that runs from the start of the city. Right the way through, we're along this line that merges into downtown. Because we have these big open spaces. You see there's a there's another one here as well that has to be fixed. Um, yeah, there is a few little empty spaces that are popped up across the mile grid as things have grown around it. So little weird Phoenix S builds like this can be brought in to help fix them. But yes, uh, there's uh, public transport and uh, biking over here too. So I think everyone's having a nice time. Yes, hey Biffa, welcome into the stream, mate. How you doing? How you doing? Um, do I want this chain link fencing here now? Yes, I think we do. I think we're going to keep it in. Uh, let's go to linear fence though with it. Uh, smaller version though, if possible. Uh, there we go. Thank you as well, Biffa, as well, for um, tweeting my tutorial videos, mate. That was very nice of you. Really appreciate that. If I gave the uh, Pirate Tutorials a little plug, so we can get a little yes please for Biffa from the YouTube members. That would be grand. Um, I feel like I want something in this little circular off-ramp for the... Um, what's it called? Off-ramp of the bike highway thing. Cycle Highway is the word I'm looking for. Uh, right, let's go ahead and get some of these in. Some vanilla rocks would be welcome, I think. Need to turn this brush strength down there. Yeah, how about a little content creator garden, if we like? Doing well, my fine fellow. <laughs> I have to say, he's looking excellent. Thank you so much, Biffa. No worries, like no problem. Thank you, mate. Yeah, that's really generous. I appreciate that. If it really is the granddaddy of City Skylines, everyone. Uh, we're very lucky to have him as part of the city's community. Yeah, I feel like that's quite cute now, isn't it? Rock Garden, yes, please. Yeah. It is, isn't it? It is a little bit of yes, please. Maybe some lights in the off-ramp system for the cycle highway, or would that be too much? I feel like it might detract from the American lights outside of the baseball stadium. Let's have a little test, shall we? Let's go for some light. Always after dark lights. I'll say maybe some teal ones, just to please Jen. This is teal, right? Turquoise? Do you mean turquoise, Jen? Because it's not teal in the game. I think, anyway. How about older uncle than granddaddy? Older uncle Biffa doesn't have that same ring to it, Biffa. <laughs> it's not as marketable. <laughs> but yes, we can go for Uncle Biffa if you want. Rather than granddaddy, yeah. <laughs> it's up to you, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll let you choose your own nickname. Wait, those cactus that are poking through the cycle highway. How about that? Uncle Biffa? Yeah, there you go. St Styles on board with it, yeah. Turquoise will be grand. Cheers, egg. Yeah, Turquoise is quite cute with that little cycle exit, isn't it? Splendid. That was a really weird, fun build to put it together. Yeah, I think it's... It's filled a good chunk of my grid space, anyway. Especially when we see the top bird's eye down now. You can really... Exactly like we kind of Google Earth, right? You know when you see that... Um, let me just show it off briefly. So you know when we get that, when we first loaded in, we were looking at Phoenix, which is here. Yeah, yeah, this is the right way. You know when you look and get Margrid, among in and amongst all the endless roads and sort of general parkland, these baseball stadium things really, like, really stand out. And I think we've managed to hit that vibe in cities as well, haven't we? Granted, it's night time, so you can't really tell. Let me 
Turn that off. Um, but yeah, you can tell, right? It's the little quadrant of baseball fields. Very distinct Phoenix vibes. I think I'm happy with it. Yeah. It's nice, I think. Alright. Cool. I don't think there's anything else I've missed off here, is there? Possibly, maybe when I tidy this side up with the fence, and actually it's a little bit messy over here, isn't it? It's just been forest brushed and nothing else. Let's sort this out. Let's get a shot. Uh, let's bring up the strength as well. Are we doing the prison fencing over this side as well? I feel like we should, shouldn't we? It shouldn't just go back to chain link fencing for no apparent reason. Okay, let's do that then. Let's grab the. Props with move it, go away, and go away. Let's get some chain link numbers. No, not chain link fencing. It's literally what I've just deleted. Um, the prison fence, wasn't it? Yes, prison fence sharp. Okay. Wouldn't that be baby biffer? What, the second cousin twice <laughs> the second cousin twice removed biffer? Um... I'm not sure. I think a few candies confuse us all. Yeah. I have to say, but the video of the song is most hot thing on YouTube, isn't it? Just for you see. Absolutely is, yeah. I really enjoyed that biffer. Maybe some more, hopefully, in the future. Maybe next summer holidays. Okay, yeah. A dry belt here, I think. And then we'll embellish ourselves with a couple of uh, cuter palms. And then I think what we will do here is just move back into some after dark chain link fencing as we come off the prison fence. Because then we can just almost like round out this desert belt as like, you know, you're not supposed to be walking in here. It's also sort of overgrown and left for the desert to reclaim. Got some palms in there too. Maybe some California shorties would be tasteful enough. Well, there's little numbers around. Maybe the occasional taller fan palming. It's a little bit better, isn't it? Fence is a little bit wonky, but uh, it's all right. It's all right. It's fine. I would love to key this off, but it's nose we can't afford. So, let's leave it. All right. Well, this has been a really kind of cute facility. Isn't the big stadium in downtown Alice's Baseball Park? Um. Yeah, but there's like a load of baseball stadiums in Phoenix, so we should be alright. Yeah, this is just like a... Yeah, just like we saw in Google Earth, you know? It's just like one of these things. Like, this isn't the home of the Diamondbacks. Like, the Diamondbacks play in the downtown. Um, yeah, over here. Uh, the Diamondbacks Stadium is there. Chase Field, well, that's like the major stadium arena, right? Which is what you're thinking of in downtown Ilos, and then... Across the city, there's baseball fields and parks, etc. Hope oh, that makes sense, anyway. Yeah. I think I'm happy with this, guys. I've been live for now, 2.14. Okay, I think we are going to leave it there because qualifying is about to start on the F1. But yeah, let's go ahead and pop on a nighttime view. Um, and then I'm going to send you guys over to the um, official cities tutorial if you haven't seen it. Again, um, Paradox were kind enough or indeed crazy enough to ask me uh, to make the tutorials for plazas and promenades which is nuts <laughs> so thank you so much for all the support that you guys give in order to get my channel to a point where Paradox asked me for that that's insane so let's go find it um, here we go okay yeah so if you want to go ahead and pop over check out the tutorial um, that I did for Paradox. There will be three more. They're up every two days, so the next one will be Monday and then Wednesday and Friday, I believe. Um, yeah, please go and sort of, you know, spam comments on it and, you know, let me know what you think of the DLC. It all helps bring more people to my channel. And, uh, and a special thanks again for Biffa for tweeting it for me. That's uh, that's really kind of you, mate. I super appreciate that. But really nice build today. I've really enjoyed Alice's little baseball park. It's been... Um, yeah, very distinct Phoenix vibe to piece together. And those American flag-colored lights outside the stadium 
All right, a wonderful addition into the foreground of the skyline, aren't they? Really, really nice. Yeah, so shout out some of the regulars. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate everyone hanging out on a Saturday afternoon of all times. Um, yes, now that the, uh, what's it called, tutorials of Paradox have been made, I've got more free time in the run-up to sort of early access and the content embargo lifting when we can start showing you some more stuff. So we should be back into a more regular schedule now with streaming um, sort of Farthest Frontier and Noob's Guide and ILO 6 Hour. Yeah, should be a little bit more regular now, alongside the episodes as well, of course. Um, Monday's Noob's Guide will probably be being delayed. I don't have much time to record now between now and Monday, so maybe Monday night, probably Tuesday morning, but Noob's Guide will be at the start of the week as always. Yes, but Justin, Sap, Jennifer, uh, CC, Luke, Daniel, uh, Biffa, Robbie, Sam, uh, Sap, EMB, Lauren, Jason, Norman, Few Candy, Jude, Star, Jason again. Uh, Peter, Scope, and everyone. Yeah, thank you for hanging out on the stream, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, cute build today. And yes, I'll see you all soon. Realize for those in the Discord as well, I haven't posted Spice of the Month because I forgot. So I will do it now before I go away. Right. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right, guys. Have a nice day. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.